All right, guys, so we're going down here to the uh, load some logs up for the first time with the grapple and the Coyote NS6010. We're going to see exactly how well this does. It just got done raining, so hopefully it's not too muddy down here. But we have all, oh, let's see, I believe it's 49 logs that we need to load up and take to the sawmill so we're gonna go see what we can get into today we are going to be loading up uh, some of these saw logs here. We have 49 total saw logs. We have some over here. We have a little bit more over here um, It's kind of off camera there, but there's uh, quite a few logs here that we're gonna take down to the sawmill And what better way to do it than utilize the new Coyote NS6010 um, and the grapple that we have on it. So uh, Check out the review we did on it. We just purchased this uh, tractor for the the property and we're super excited we want to test this grapple out for the first time today and we're going to load up the uh, trailer there that's a 18 foot long um with a four foot dovetail so total of 22 feet long trailer so we're going to load up this with well, i think we're only going to get let's see one two three four five six seven eight maybe ten logs on there we'll see what we can do uh, but we want to bring this to you today. Hopefully you enjoy, sit back, relax, and watch this thing work.
All right, guys, so we got that all loaded up. The Coyote NS6010 did a heck of a job with that grapple. Um, you've seen how easy work that did with those logs. Those are some pretty good sized logs. I think the biggest one in there is a 22, 23 inch in diameter log, but mainly about 17 inches to t that 22 to 23 inch mark. So pretty good sized logs. The one was uh, 18 feet long. So you've seen how much the lift capacity could do with that. And that grapple really did a really good job. So we got them all stacked on there. We could play with it, put them on there nice and easy. We're gonna finish strapping it down and then we're gonna haul it to the sawmill. So thanks again for coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors. We'll see you.